Hey guys, Greg C96 here, back with some more human resource machine. Uh, I don't know, video just went out yesterday for it, but I'm looking to continue playing because it's a fun game. So I'm gonna get right into it. Year 16, absolute positivity. Ha ha! Positive attitudes were determined to increase productivity, and now therefore are mandatory. Smile! Management's watching. Send each thing from the inbox to the outbooks. But if a number is negative, remove its negative sign. So, inbox, outbox. But if it's negative, I wanna copy it to zero and sub zero, sub zero. So that'll zero and then, so it'll go zero and then positive number, then outbox. If I can get rid of that, and said put a jump. That should work. I think it should work. I don't know if it's the most efficient way, but. Eight or fewer, okay, it was the most efficient way. Wasn't the fastest though. Smallest size, but it wasn't the fastest. I don't care though, I got one of them. Exclusive lounge. Uh oh, testers. Yes, I've always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. For each two things in the inbox, send a zero if they have the same sign. Send a one if their signs are different. Inbox. Copy to zero. How do I want to do this? Okay, this is... This seems... Difficult. Tell me more. Simon is a basic boolean object. Uh, XOR. Exclusive OR. Armed with this new information, you may research independently if you'd like. It's an exclusive OR. Yeah. So exclusively one or the other is positive. Let's copy it to zero. Go back to the inbox. So now I've got my two numbers. I go to the inbox. Okay. Hmm. This one's a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> Let's keep the music going. It makes me think. So, send a one if their signs are different. Zero if they have the same sign. So both are negative. So let's copy that to one. Hmm. Let's subtract zero. And if it is, if it is zero, they were the same sign. If it was zero, they were the same sign, which means we'll copy from four 
and then outbox. If it's not zero, and it's negative, we want to copy it from zero subtract one then if it's still negative because now what we've checked is both of them end up being negative numbers if they both are negative it also means same sign so then we want to Okay, so if same sign is zero. So if they both if those both yielded negative numbers they're the same sign. But if it's not to so jump copy from Five and then outbox. Maybe? Those have different signs. Boom, that's a negative. Oh no, I didn't want that jump. So those are same signs, so it should pass a zero. Boom. That was negative. That was positive, so it's gonna do a one for same sign. No, that's gonna... Let's clear this. Stop. Yeah, we'll clear. Inbox. Copy to zero. Inbox, copy to one. Now, how do I want to compare the two? If, let's see. If I, hmm, 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 hmm. My hand. Oh, sorry guys. Let's. I should know plenty about an XOR. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna quickly pause, and I'll come back when I have some informations. Jump cut. Okay, guys, I am back, and I figured it out. So, um. I did it in a bit of a weird order here. It's, I, yeah. So it starts by jumping. It goes to the inbox. And then, if the number is negative, it goes back to the inbox. If it's once again negative, it makes this jump here, which will copy from four, which is zero, and it'll outbox that. However, if it goes inbox, then if it's not negative, inbox again, 
And if it's again, not negative, which means they're both positive, it jumps back up here, copies from four, which is zero, and out boxes. Or it goes inbox. If it's negative, it jumps to this, which is another inbox. And if it's not negative, it copies from five, jumps up to outbox. It's weird, I know. It especially doesn't... What I realize is I don't actually have to store anything. I can do all my comparisons implicitly. I don't know if I, like, made any of the minimum requirements for the level or met any of, like, the excellency goals, but... I, I don't know what the goals are. But I kind of realize this game is basically writing assembly code. Oh, 12 or fewer commands. I met the size challenge. That's at least good. And 28 steps. Damn. We did good. Beach Paradise. I'm on sabbatical. Call, call. All these wonderful trash can, trash bottles above my head. Ah. Damn bottles. People leaving this shit by my head. Who's this though? I'm confused. I don't know what's going on, but that was year 18, I guess. Career milestone three. All right, countdown. Yes, welcome back. Tick, tick, tick. I changed up my hair. Time keeps ticking down, let's get to work. Oh, yes. I love what you've done with your hair. For each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox. Oh, I get bumps. They add one or subtract one from the item on the floor. The result is given back to you for your convenience, also written right back on to the floor. A <laughs> robot arm, awesome. So, inbox. Copy to zero. Outbox. So, if it's zero... I want to jump straight to outbox. Not, I want to bump it, then outbox, then. Jump back up here. Bump that down one. Now, inbox, copy to zero. And then I want to go outbox. Now let's get rid of that real quick. Outbox. Then I want to bump zero. And go to the outbox. Then I want to jump back up to here. Bump, go to the outbox. But if it's ever negative, I want to jump back up here. I think that's good. Six. Bump. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero, negative, back there. Oh, I didn't think about that. That works for only positive numbers. So I guess, if it's a negative, I wanna go down here and one plus zero. Outbox and jump back. As soon as it's and once it becomes zero, 
I want to outbox. As soon as it becomes zero, I want to go outbox and then jump. That should work now. I... Uh. Hmm, that's a problem. Now we got it. I don't know if it's the fastest solution. Outbox is the negative three. Bumps it up to negative two. Jumps in places, bumps it up. Jumps in places. Bumps it up. Jumps places. Jumps. Jumps. Gets rid of. Extra step that's not necessary, but. That's okay. I'm okay with extra steps that aren't necessary. It did work. I don't know if it's the fastest by any stretch of the imagination. Not even close. Close to the fewest number of steps. I can. If it's zero, I just want to outbox. How about that? I think that's only going to shave like one step. I don't know. It might make it quicker, but it's more commands. It added a step? Okay. <laughs> I, I'm not going to get all of them. Multiplication Workshop. Year 20. Seems like only yesterday we were learning about adding. Fond memories. We worked so hard back then. Each thing's in the... What? So, inbox. F four. Int. C. T. Greater than zero. Okay. That's my counter variable. So that'll be inbox. Copy to for int ct greater than zero. Inbox. Copy to zero. And that's the variable to be multiplied. Multiplication variable. And then two should be our current val. Because what we want to do is Add to multfair. Copy to current val. And then bump and CT. If that becomes zero, since we're doing it afterwards, once that becomes zero, we've multiplied it enough. Tell me more. 
You enjoy your new label maker. I personally prefer to label just about everything. Copy to four, what does that even mean? Just stick a label on it and you'll never need to use numbers again. I have also labeled my sandwich. So now you know which one not to eat. You're welcome. Okay, then if it becomes zero, I want to copy from the current value and outbox it. If that's not the case, I'm gonna jump back up here. So I wanna first be from the current value. Add the multiplication variable. Copy that to current value. Bump that down. If it's now zero, I jump here, copy current value, go to outbox. If it's not zero, I jump back up, do it again until it is zero. Yeah, it's it's a for loop. So our count variable is going to be 5, and our multiplication variable is 4. Okay, boom, 9, I did that in the wrong place. Multiplication variable 3, add them together, add that to current value. Copy from that, add them together current value, bump it. And then zero, copy from current value, outbox. Okay, hmm. what am I doing wrong? Um, hmm. <laughs> I will figure this one out. This is what we'll do. We'll figure this one out and then we'll call it an episode. Hmm. So, Inbox, copy to counter, inbox, copy to our multiplication variable. And we want to add the two together, save that as a current value. We want to bump down our counter. Then, if the counter has been bumped... Oh. First thing we want to do is we want to bump the counter down by one now we got it nine times five should yield a 45 which it does nine times six would yield a 54 which it does Two times zero. It's gonna add steps, but if it's zero, we can jump. S if either of those are zero, we can jump straight to the inbox. Oh, box. It's gonna add. S it's gonna add that, but it should make it go quicker. Oh, shoot. Now nah, let's get rid of those. That's, I don't want to add the extra complexity that's going to do. So I have to delete the whole pair to do zeros. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's gonna go forever. the first inbox value is negative we want to jump up to the top again if the second inbox value is negative we want to jump to here so now if we get a negative it's not gonna cycle forever we can skip the negative numbers oh that's what happened when we bump it down. So, if we bump it down, and then it's negative. We can jump to here. We can copy it from zero. And then outbox. Let's see what's going on. Goes there. It bumps. Then we go and grab a zero. outbox okay all right we gotta like slow this down when it comes to it because I want to see what's going on with it man we got to get back to what that started as If after we've bumped it, oh, if after we've bumped it, it's a zero, we want to jump down here. We want to jump and do inbox and then copy from zero and then outbox. We should be good now. The freak. Oh. No, we just want to inbox out box if it's immediately a zero. But if it's a negative, now we want to jump, grab zero. So if we bump it and it becomes negative, we want to just grab the inbox and then copy it from zero. All right, now we should be good. It took way longer than it should have, but it's working, I think. Yep, that's right. It's the easy stuff. I don't mind the extra steps. Okay, I'm cool with that. It worked. Wasn't the prettiest thing. Definitely not. Huh. 
I'm not even gonna worry about that. Alright, we're at the split. So, we're getting there. At this point, I think we shall call it an episode. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Leave a comment down below telling me how stupid I am about one of the levels I did. Check out the rest of the guys in Big Box over at BigBoxGamers.com. And as always, I shall see you guys next time.